is National Sloppy Joe Day. Just me, it's fine, I'm cool with it. Um, it is. So here to show us her favorite Sloppy Joe recipe from her Generations Cookbook, please welcome my friend, Danielle Cardis. Happy Sloppy Joe Day, oh meet Soledad. Oh, hi Soledad, nice to meet you, you look beautiful. Great to meet you. And I can't wait to show you how to make a ding dang sloppy joe. And let's get started. What right do we do? In front of you, you're gonna see meat and onions that are already taken care of with all the seasonings. Mm -hmm. So do you see that? Yes, you see it. Now go ahead and add your tomato paste. Okay. And it doesn't have to be in any special order, but go ahead and add your tomato paste. And your beef stock. You guys should have some beef stock there too. Okay. And it's such a fun recipe to make for your kids. Okay. Um, you and then no, I'm a terrible cook. <laughs> I clean. I will do all the dishes afterwards. I am that girl. Yeah. I love cleaning. You know, I find I it love useful. So here, Dan, are we putting this brown? Is this brown sugar? Brown sugar. Get it. Come on down, baby. Hey, okay. you guys, just real talk. This has been a really, really hectic, crazy day. And poor little Milo's not having it. So he's upstairs with a box of cookies and the TV on just to keep him occupied. <laughs> and literally, while I'm making this, he's coming through with a skateboard. I'm like sweating. So, I mean, you can real life make this because, and here he's yelling upstairs. Mike just went running after him. Like, don't, 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 don't yell. We're on national TV. <laughs> I love that. I love Zoom World. This is my favorite. These are my favorite moments, actually. I know. I know it. Okay. So put all of your ingredients in. Give it a nice, good stir. And this is going to cook for about 20 minutes. And you're going to be really surprised at how it thickens up. It just okay. turns into like, it almost has like a chili consistency. All right. Okay. So what's okay. next? Next, we're gonna butter our buns. Okay. And this is a very important step. Number one, butter and bread is delicious. Yes. Number two, it actually, the butter in the toasty oven creates a barrier so your sloppy joe doesn't disintegrate and fall apart. Oh. So it is viable, you gotta butter these buns. I think you can't go wrong with butter. I'm just gonna I douse all of mine with butter, <laughs> okay. So get your buttery buns, swap them into your fake oven. I got mine. I'm doing a little swap out. We'll pretend that they were hot. Because TV they didn't have a hot magic, bag. people. TV magic. TV magic. Ta -da. So now you've got ah. toasty, toasty little buns. Okay. So and this is the part I love the best. Okay. And brioche, brioche is pricey. If, so if you're looking, you can get regular old hamburger buns too. Because once upon a time, I could never buy a brioche bun. Let me just throw that out there. I love it now. But if you can't buy it, don't worry about it. Use a regular old hamburger bun or some toast. You can also just make toast. Pop it in the toaster. Okay. So load your little bun up. Okay. I loaded, I think. Show us what you got. You got a hippo? Oh. Ah, oh, you got a hippo. It's a hungry, hungry what? hippo. Okay, wait, so can I put some cheese? I'm gonna put some cheese on this. Yes, cheese. I'm gonna put some pickles. I put the pickled onions, those are good. Okay. This coleslaw needs a minute all of its own because it's so delicious. It's just shredded cabbage, lime juice, vinegar, some chili peppers and cilantro. And it's like the most delicious. I mean, we can skip cilantro. I know you don't like it, girl. You skip I it. don't like you cilantro, cilantro, but I'm into this. So wait, you put that on the sandwich? You put it on the sandwich. What? Yeah. Wow. So okay. Sandwich. I don't well, know. I'm into it. For some crunch. Yeah. And it's oh, like it's getting everywhere. And delicious. Yeah. Okay, wait. Let me and try then you put Top one? Yes. Oh, I love good. this show so much. Oh my God. So, oh, that's amazing. It's so good. Yes. I would bite down. Oh my God. It's so good. I love a sloppy Joe, y'all. Mm -hmm. so oh. And so I feel good. like it's easy to throw together, especially with kids, and you're just, it's just easy. Especially if you just put it under oh, yeah. and you pull it up. Yeah, especially <laughs> when your art department has it sitting under the table and you just pull it up. Yeah. <laughs> this is so easy to throw together. <laughs> well, all right. Cheers to everybody here. I love these sloppy joes. You got to check them out. Danielle's Generations Cookbook is available anywhere books are sold. And for more recipes, be sure to follow her on Instagram. You're going to love her. I promise. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever. Ah.